If you live with sleep apnea and frequently travel for work or pleasure, a travel-friendly CPAP machine can be a great investment. In addition to being smaller and lighter than the standard CPAP machines, these devices are equipped with certain features that make them convenient to use when you're on the move. Hi everyone, I'm Taylor. Today we're talking about travel CPAP machines. If you've been prescribed CPAP to treat sleep apnea, you'll need to comply with your therapy most nights. Otherwise, your symptoms may go unchecked and your sleep quality may suffer. And if your insurance provider or Medicare is covering the cost of your CPAP machine, you'll need to submit compliance data to show you're using the equipment most nights. The standard for compliance is 70%, or using CPAP seven nights out of every 10. So you'll need to use your CPAP machine even when you're out of town on business or on vacation. Most standard CPAP machines are fairly bulky and heavy, and they'll use up a fair amount of baggage space. That's where travel CPAP machines come in. These machines are lighter and more compact than standard CPAP devices. Some also feature water-free humidification, Wi-Fi connectivity, and other features that make them more convenient for travel. In this video, we'll look at all of the important factors to consider when choosing a travel CPAP machine. First up, size is one of the most important qualities to take into account. Standard CPAP machines can be somewhat large, with the average device measuring at least five to six inches wide and some up to 10 inches long. Leading travel devices measure as little as three inches wide and three inches long. They're also lightweight, with many weighing less than a pound. And since they're designed for travel, many of these machines come with carrying cases for easy packing. Noise is another factor. Most CPAP machines produce between 26 and 30 decibels of noise when in use. Even at the louder end of this scale, that's still considered whisper quiet. However, you may want to opt for a quieter machine if you plan to share a hotel room with someone who isn't accustomed to the sound of a CPAP machine. The same is true if you'll be using your machine on a train, bus, or airplane. Which brings us to our next consideration, FAA compliance. Unlike standard CPAP machines, many travel devices are FAA compliant. This means the machine has been tested to see whether it causes interference with electronic systems and approved for in-flight use. So if there's a long flight in your future, an FAA-approved travel CPAP machine can help you get the sleep you need prior to reaching your destination. A lot of today's CPAP machines feature humidifiers with water chambers. Humidifiers heat and moisturize the air before it enters your breathing passages. This keeps you comfortable during CPAP and helps prevent side effects like dry mouth and nosebleeds. You should always use distilled water for your CPAP machine's humidifier. This can be a pain point for travel because you'll have to track down distilled water once you arrive. This can be tricky in certain locations. Some airlines allow you to carry on a small amount of distilled water, but it may not be enough to sustain you for the entire trip. Some travel CPAP machines use waterless humidification systems, which capture heat and moisture when you exhale and humidify the air in your machine. You don't necessarily need waterless humidification for travel, but it does mean you won't need to spend vacation time searching for distilled water. Plus, it can be very beneficial if you're traveling to a place with dry weather. When traveling, you'll need to submit compliance data to your doctor the same way you do at home. Of course, this can be challenging if you're traveling to a remote area. Many travel CPAP machines are designed to sync with Wi-Fi signals and or cellular networks. This lets you collect sleep data, store it in a cloud, and submit it for compliance purposes conveniently and quickly. The catch here is you'll need Wi-Fi or a cell signal to do so. This may not be possible in some locations, but at the very least, you should be able to use your CPAP machine without either signal. Lastly, price is obviously an important consideration for a lot of people. Travel CPAP machines tend to cost about the same amount as standard CPAP devices, if not a bit more. The average range is about $800 to $1,000. Here's the catch though. Most insurance providers won't cover the cost of travel machines because they're considered non-essential. So you might be paying for your device completely out of pocket. Definitely double check your plan just in case, but be prepared to pay most, if not all of the upfront cost. Before we go, here are a few tips if you're in the market for a travel CPAP machine. Number one, if you like your current at-home CPAP machine, check the manufacturer's website. If they offer a travel-friendly device, chances are it's comparable to your machine. Number two, double check whether the travel machine you'd like to buy is compatible with your face mask. Some models can only be used with certain masks, while others are designed for universal compatibility. Number three, along with your new CPAP machine, you should consider buying an external battery. These can come in handy if your destination doesn't have a reliable power source. Some batteries are also FAA approved for in-flight use. Number four, pack some CPAP wipes for cleaning your mask during your trip. These wipes are inexpensive and usually sold in bulk. 
And number five, lastly, be sure to bring along a copy of your CPAP prescription. This allows you to purchase a new mask or machine if your items are lost or damaged during your trip. Traveling with your CPAP machine doesn't need to be a problem if you can find the right kind of machine. If you'd like to learn more about one kind of travel machine, we have a review of the ResMed Air Mini right here. And we have much more on travel CPAP machines over at sleepfoundation.org. Thanks for watching. Sweet dreams, everyone.